Your Honda connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh. Today I'm sitting in a 2018 Honda Accord Touring 2 liter, which has the 10 speed automatic transmission and the push button shift. Now, this push button shift is found in more and more Honda models, uh, so I kind of wanted to go over some tips and tricks with you. Um, so, these uh, tips and tricks will be good for any current 2018 Honda model up until this point um, with the push button shift, so the Accord, Pilot, Odyssey, and the Clarity. So first off, let's run through the basic operation. We've got our park button right there, and the red lights on either side of it are illuminated, which indicates we are in park. Also up here on the dash by the odometer and the um, outside temperature, you've got that red P, which also indicates what gear we are in. In this case, it is park. So we've got two spots that indicate which gear we are in. Now foot on the brake and then you pull the reverse button back like so and it lights up with the green lights to indicate that we are in reverse. For neutral, just push the button down and then for drive you also push the button down. And that lights up green to indicate we are in drive. And for park, just push the button again. So pretty easy to operate I, I believe. Um, now what happens if we forgot that we're still in gear and we try to get out of the vehicle um, or for some reason we're perhaps trying to leave it in gear and uh, get out of the vehicle. So if I put it in drive and then I open the door, automatically shifts it to park. Now my seatbelt was not on, so if I put my seatbelt on and shift to drive, now open the door. As you can see here, it lets me open the door with the transmission in drive or in gear as long as my seatbelt is on. You can even pull forward here as well with the door open as long as your seatbelt is on. Let's go ahead and put it back in the park. Now what happens if for some reason you need to exit the vehicle with the transmission into in neutral? Say one of those uh, automatic car washes where you don't remain in the vehicle um, or for whatever other reason. Let's go ahead and put in, push neutral. And as you can see here, to exit the vehicle, you gotta push and hold neutral again for about two seconds, and that will engage the neutral hold mode. So that's how that works. And that's nice, it, it does give you all these, uh, all this information on the screen here as well. So it kind of walks you through these steps. Let's go ahead and put it back into park. Now you may or may not be familiar with the shift lock release or neutral override found in most um, Honda models with the conventional transmission or CVT transmission. What that is, in most of those models there's a little hidden plastic panel that you can pop out to put the transmission into neutral if you ever needed to if the shifter you know was not working or for some reason you can't get it into neutral the normal way. So this little plastic panel right here would actually pop out um, and then there is, uh, you take your key and you'd, you'd push it in there and that would put the transmission into neutral on any conventional transmission. With the push button shift ones, and this is true for the uh, Accord, Pilot, and the Odyssey, there is no shift lock release like that. I can pop that panel out, there's actually nothing behind there. So what happens if you do need to put the transmission into neutral but you can't get the engine running with one of these push button shift models? So how that works, you actually have to pop the hood and there's a uh, control shaft on the transmission that you physically need to turn to put the transmission into neutral without the vehicle running. So let me show you actually what that what happens as well. So I'll shut the vehicle off. My foot's not on the brake. Hit the button once, twice. See everything start up here and then we will attempt to put the transmission into gear here. So I'm going to hit drive as a shift from park the engine has to be running. Okay so say the engine won't run but we do need to get it in the, trans in the transmission into neutral, pull it up into a flatbed or maybe move the vehicle into position where I can hook some jumper cables up to it from another vehicle. So this is a picture of the 10 speed automatic transmission found in this Accord. This is the front of the transmission would be towards the front of the vehicle. This is the back of the transmission would be towards the back of the vehicle and this would be on the left side of the vehicle or if you're standing at the front of the car with the hood open it'd be to your right. So this control shaft right here and this is an expanded view of what that looks like you'd actually have to put a wrench on that to turn it to get the transmission into neutral. Um, so that would actually be found under I believe the air intake um, would kind of be covering up this section so it would be under that right there. 
So if you needed to do this, I would recommend, you know, calling roadside assistance if you're still under your three-year, 36,000-mile uh, warranty from Honda. Um, the roadside assistance would be free. And you can call that phone number that's found in the Honda Link app or in the driver's window here. There is this little sticker right there with the Honda roadside phone number on it. But just so you're familiar with how, how that works, um, I don't know if this is out there anywhere else online, but this information was fairly difficult for me to find um, in Honda system as to how to get the transmission into neutral with the engine off. Now I've had another question. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle up. Uh, what happens if you accidentally hit reverse or park or something while you're driving down the road? So let's go ahead and hit drive. Now I'm in the back of the dealership lot here. Let's go ahead and pull forward here and we will push reverse. All right. So I hit reverse and it automatically pops into neutral saying to shift the vehicle must be stopped. So it's not going to let me automatically go right to reverse while I'm driving down the highway or anything like that. So let's put it back in drive. Let's pull forward again here and then we'll hit uh, park as well and we'll try that. All right, so let's go ahead and hit park. Park actually doesn't do anything unless you push it and hold it, and then it will put it into neutral. And again, SATA must be stopped. Now I can hit drive again while I'm just driving down the road and it will put it right back into gear for me. So say you did hit it reverse by accident and it pops into neutral, you can hit drive, put it right back in. So hopefully that answers all your questions um, on the push button shift here. If you do have any other questions, um, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Again, this is Brian, your Honda Connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh.